Hey everybody, it's Luke here from LT Gaming, and welcome back to all you LT Gamers. Today I'm going to follow up on our last Starfleet Command 3 video, and I'm going to feature the USS Resolute, or the Centaur class ship, from Star Trek Resurgence. However, we have a fun twist today. We're going to equip the Centaur class with pulse phasers, as seen on the Defiant. This is going to be quite interesting. You will get to see the difference that these pulse phasers make in a series of battles against more powerful vessels. I'm also running a modded install. And that mod is the Starfleet Command Upgrade Mod 3.3 All-in-One. I'll leave a link also in the description to that. It's basically an attempt to expand the Starfleet Command experience to its full potential. You have three new empires, ten new cultures with all new ships, several new missions, and a lot of skirmish scripts, overall faster gameplay, and improved graphics. It also supports widescreen, which really helps me, and I love the overall experience. Now everyone, just to make one thing clear, the mods that we feature on this channel, we're not involved in making. Some of them are many, many years old, and we source them and find them out there on the internet. If you download and install them, you do so at your own risk. We mainly, as YouTube journalists, cover these things and try and promote good things that we find in good faith. And just before I forget, I'm also going to swap out the photon torpedoes on the Centaur and add some quantum torpedoes. So that's going to be quite an interesting change as well. Now before we jump into the action, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. We appreciate all of our Star Trek fans on the channel. If you're new here, why not join us for the journey? We feature a lot of new Star Trek content. We have a big pipeline for 2023 and beyond. Look, come and join us here at LT Gaming, have fun and enjoy the content. If you're watching this video externally, make sure to come onto YouTube and drop us a like as that has the most powerful impact on the channel. Alright LT Gamers, here we go. I have picked my modified Centaur with pulse phasers and quantum torpedoes. As you can see, it has a 360 degree firing arc on the saucer and then rear and forward quantums. It's a fairly powerful arsenal for such a small ship and it is quite hard to hit because it is a lot smaller. In the first battle, we're going to go up against the Ambassador class or the Enterprise C, the stock version, and we'll see how we get on. The Ambassador class is quite powerful in this game, I will say. Engage! Alright, here we go. Beautiful looking background. Red alert. Let's uh, creep towards her at a slow speed while our weapons charge. We'll get a little shuttle out. Why not? You could attack. There he goes. Beautiful. And we'll target the Ambassador. Ready for that first quantum torpedo strike. And we'll see if we can make a difference. We do have strength and shields at the front here. As you can see. Oh wow. He uh, went straight for the shuttle there. Quantum's traded with photons. That looked awesome. Pulse phasers away. Let's circle around. We'll get some speed up now. We do have to cycle our shields here. Another quantum torpedo away. The ambassador class is strong in this game. Really strong. We have that little phaser as well, but it's like a shuttle phaser. It's nothing impressive. I'm playing on 11, which I don't normally play on, and I tend to make a few more mistakes at this speed, but like there, I really needed to move away there. That was a lethal shot. Not doing too well with my firing arcs there, but we do have good thrusters to move around. Quantum away as well, and we're starting to take our toll on the Ambassador. They've dropped a transport mine, which the AI is uh, always catching me out on. Here we go, we're right behind her here. We really could do with those quantums right now. But our shields have dropped and I want to avoid that mine. Double shot there. Keeping my distance actually. Quantum away from range. But the ambassador's really holding her own, she's tough. Oh, I took those photons in the right place. Now, in the ship file, the Centaur, I think, is 55 in its hull size, which makes it harder to hit than something like the Ambassador. So, that does give us a slight advantage, but our shields are down. Oh, wow. We did a lot of damage in that pass. That was awesome. Let's, uh, let's circle back around where we actually have some shields left. Both of us have taken damage. We are really getting on top of those pulse phasers now. And a quantum as well. Oh, quite as much damage as I would have hoped of with that strike. 
Quantum away. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I thought that was going to be the killing shot there, but it wasn't. Let's get some more speed up. She's uh, keeping up with us speed-wise here. And that was all she wrote. The Ambassador class is defeated by my Centaur Pulse Phaser Quantum Torpedo variant. So the Vanquished Ambassador class is gone, and we're going to take on the Enterprise D Galaxy class. This should be a little bit of a step up. I've slowed it down just a tad because uh, when I'm talking and playing, my brain doesn't quite work properly, but hey, I'll try and get over it. But hey, the Centaur Pulse Phaser variant is going to go against the Galaxy class. Engage. All right, same again. Shields up. Let's move towards her at a creep. And target. Waiting for these weapons to charge. The USS Farragut, eh? Okay, very good. I think there was a Nebula class called that, right? Which was destroyed in DS9. I'm not sure. Possibly. Write in the comments and let me know. Right, actually, let's get that shot light. That was quite useful last time. Get a bit scared of this engagement. Quantum torpedo away. Good initial strike, and that Galaxy class captain is thinking, what is going on here? This Rebel Centaur has quantum torpedoes. Right, we took a little bit of shield damage, nothing significant. We're starting to wear down the Galaxy class a little bit, but her front shields really are just laughing at us. as we pass over each other. I should get a rear strike in here. Yep. Look at the front shields. That's insane. Be great if I could take advantage of that, but... I'm not sure that little phaser is really useful, but I have seen it occasionally do some hull damage once the shields are down. Wow! We really smashed the galaxy class with that salvo. Let's get our distance there. Our quantums are reloading across the board. Try and keep side on here. That little phaser, it does its job, I suppose, you know? Better to have it than not, I think. I think we need a bit more speed here. Oh, double pulse phasers. The Galaxy class is falling very fast here. She's not enjoying the pulse phasers. I can't turn as tightly as three quarters, so let's get back to that. Quantum away. Go. Oh, that was nasty. Let's go right over the top of her or underneath her, whichever it is, and get our rear strike out. The Galaxy class is starting to fall. That crew over there right now is wondering what the hell is going on. Who outfitted this Rebel Centaur? Damn, we kind of fired into her strongest shield arc there. Wow, transporter mine. Thank you so much. Quantum Torpedo. That's all she wrote. She is dead in the water. Let's get away from her and circle back for a epic strike and finish. This should be the killing shot. And the... Oh, it wasn't. I thought that was the end of the Galaxy class, but she's hanging in there. I actually think the Ambassador was harder, and I don't know why. Why is that weapon not firing? There we go. The final blow, the Galaxy class, was blown to pieces. And my Centaur Pulse variant wins again. On we go. We have vanquished the Enterprise D Galaxy class. Now we move on to our final battle against the Enterprise E or Sovereign class. Now it is the stock ship. I haven't changed it. Of course, I could make it a lot more powerful. But I want to give my Centaur Pulse variant a chance. I think it's a pretty good battle, right? It will be very interesting to see who can win this one. Don't complain at me that the ships aren't balanced and I shouldn't have had a chance. I'm just playing within the confines of the mod and the game. So it's a bit of fun. Let's enjoy it. Engage. All right, here we go. I'm nervous for this one. Red alert, shields up. This is our final test as a crew on our rebel centaur. The Sovereign class is thinking, oh, easy pickings right now. Here we go. Let's bring them home. The 
it's not gonna be so easy. Let's get that shot light. He plays his part. Look at him go. Okay, we need those torpedoes and we need them now. Quantums on the Sovereign are gonna be a challenge. I wanna take the first salvo right in the front shields. Here we go. Oh, double hit. Double hit, that was not nice. Let's get some speed up. I think three quarters is the best maneuvering speed someone told me, so that's great to know. Thanks for that information. Quantum away, and we are picking away at the mighty Sovereign. But I think an element of luck is going to actually happen here. I'm not sure I can win because look at the shield arc. That's insane. We are reducing it quickly or as quick as we can. If we can get a quantum torpedo now, guys, that would be really useful. No, I'm going to have to move or I'm going to start taking damage. Oh, wow. Thanks for that. Be nice if we had our own quantum torpedoes ready. Boom. I'm surprised how well this is going. Oh wow, that was a devastating strike to her weak side. I may actually win. I may actually win. This is crazy. I'm not quite sure what I was hitting there as I flew right underneath, but we're still targeting her weak side, but I'm starting to take a lot of damage myself. I need those torpedoes now. Oh, wow. The end is nigh. I thought I was going to win. Oh, the quantum torpedo's giving me a chance. We're both in a very, very bad way. This is epic. I probably should be using transporter mines and boarding her, but I'm not that advanced in the game yet. But maybe if I drop a transporter mine... I'm trying to concentrate here, come on. Whoa, not a transporter mine on me. Oh, that was devastating. As I talk about when I actually take one. A few of our weapons are actually down. This is not great. I think we have a rear quantum torpedo here and I really need it. Quantum torpedo. Oh, we could win. Come on. So close. Oh, that was nasty. I think it missed. Quantum away. Oh, they survived. We won. How close was that? Let's celebrate by going to warp. Goodbye. Engage. <laughs> Epic battle. Super cool. I really enjoyed that. Can't believe we actually won, but hey, don't give out to me. I'm just playing with the confines of the mod and the game. Really fun, and I really enjoyed it. So guys, if you love Star Trek, if you love many different types of games, simulations, war games, Mountain Blade, all the stuff we do on the channel, so much more to come. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all of you, and thanks so much for being here. As always, I'm Luke from LT Gaming, and I'll catch you on the next one.